Hey guys, today's my first full day in Taipei. I just finished getting ready and I'm about to go grab breakfast downstairs. And then I'll be heading to Yang Mingsan, a national park only 30 minutes away from where I'm staying. My friend's dad is in town and she is from Taiwan, so she's about to take us on a little adventure today. I started off the morning with breakfast at the hotel since it's complimentary. I'm not the biggest fan of American breakfast because I grew up eating Chinese food in the mornings, so waking up and having a buffet with things I love eating for breakfast is really nice. We booked a car service for the day to take us to Yang Mingsan, which is a national park only 30 minutes away from downtown Taipei. On the way, we stopped at Beitou Hot Spring Museum, which was once a public bathhouse built in 1913. At the time, it was the largest bathhouse in East Asia. It is free to enter, all you have to do is take off your shoes before entering and change into the slippers they provide you. We made it to Yang Mingsan and we are stopped at a restaurant right now that is super popular for their Taiwanese chicken. And you can literally hear the chicken like right behind me. But they grow everything in their backyard and there's a super long wait so we are just putting our names down and we're going to be walking around until we our name is done. Wansin is a local Taiwanese restaurant located in Yang Mingsan. It's been open for over 20 years. They use fresh produce grown themselves or sourced locally. It's always busy so you can expect to wait. If you go early, the wait is a little shorter according to some people. However, you can grab your number and come back. It's nice because right across the street is a trail you can walk as well as a calla lily field. For $3, you can pick six flowers and they will bundle it up for you so that you can take your bouquet with you. The trail is very beautiful and you can see the views of the mountains and flowers and it's a nice short walk. A little over an hour, we were finally seated. We had to get the boiled chicken because it's one of their most popular items. It was very tender, but my favorite dishes were actually the bamboo shoots, crispy pork, and fried tofu. After lunch, we went to see Xiaoyoukin, which is one of the most geologically active scenic areas in the park. It is a bit smelly due to the sulfates, but it's pretty cool to see the different unique features like post-volcanic fumaroles, hot springs, and more. While we were in the park, we also stopped at Qingtiangang Grassland to walk around and to see the water buffaloes. I guess it's also a popular place for wedding photos because we saw at least six different couples while we were there taking photos. Before heading back to the city, we stopped to see some flowers in the lower part of the mountain and then got dropped off in downtown Taipei so that we can walk around. I love mango shaved ice so my dad's friend recommended us to try Smoothie House, which is Taiwan's most famous mango snowflake ice spot. We did a bit more walking before having hot pot for dinner, which was so spicy but amazing. It's literally only like 8.15 but I am exhausted so... I'm gonna try to go to bed and see what happens, maybe start the day early tomorrow, or who knows, maybe I'll wake up and go get a midnight stack. But, good night for now.